Hello and welcome to the program Sula's Big Adventures with me, Sula. I just wanted to give an update about Comet Sejinshan Atlas C2023A3. Today is October 20th, 2024, and the comet is still visible to the naked eye from a very dark sky site. I saw it last night as soon as darkness fell from a dark rural area that it's a Bortle 3 site. And as soon as the cloud moved, I looked in that direction and I didn't even need binoculars. I could see the coma and the long, long tail, at least 15 degrees, maybe more, but there was a cloud above it, but I saw it with my naked eye. So you still have a chance to see the comet naked eye if you go somewhere very dark tonight or tomorrow night, October 21st, 2024. After that, you can still see the comet all the way to Halloween, October 31st, 2024. But you'll need a telescope to see it at that time as the comet moves away from the Earth and fades from its current magnitude of about three or four to six and then down to about magnitude 10 by the last day of October. I just wanted to show you a sketch I made of the comet from when I saw it on October 13th from here, which is a Bortle 3 rural area, and I think it was magnitude 0.5. Estimates put comet Sejin Chan at magnitude 0.4 on October 2nd, which makes this comet even brighter than comet Neowise in 2020. Neowise maxed out at magnitude 0.9, so Sejin Chan is not even close to famous Hale Bob Comet, the comet of the century. But Sejin Chan was pretty cool to look at and see. Tonight it was higher than Arcturus, so if you're scanning for it with binoculars, put Arcturus at the bottom of your binocular and scan towards where Venus was. It's set around 7.30, I think. And I had to wait until 7.50 p.m. for that cloud to move off. But that's when I saw it the best because the moon is two days past full, so it rises 30 minutes later each night. And also I have a hill behind my house that blocks the moon, so it doesn't even brighten that much until an hour after it rises. But I could clearly see it with my naked eye coma and its beautiful long tail. Light pollution will wash it out, more so than the moon. Because last night, the 18th, which was just one day past full moon, I saw it with my naked eye. And if you're out tonight looking for the comet, it's also the peak of the Orionid meteor shower, which occurs every year between October 2nd and November 7th when the Earth passes through the debris left by famous Comet Halley. This year, there's a waning gibbous moon, which will wash out uh, the dimmer meteors. So this year, you'll need to be in a dark sky site to see many meteors from the Orion and Meteor Shower and to see the last of Comet Sejin Chan. So that's it for now. I'll see y'all soon. Until then, get outside and look for some meteors and a comet. Dark skies forever, Sula, signing off.